Let's begin with the first effect. First, I will show you how to create a text reveal effect. Open the CapCut app, tap new project and then select the video you want to edit. Before editing, my video looks like this. The next step is to tap on the text button and add your text. When you're done, select the font you like in the font tab. Set the size according to your preference and then add in and out animations. Align the text with your video and then export the video. Now, tap on your project and import the original video and video with text. Select the video with text, then click the overlay button. Align the videos, then select overlay video. The next step is to find the mask option and select the horizontal mask. Rotate it and position it like I did and then add a keyframe. Move the mask in each frame to match the person's movements. Repeat this process until the text is fully visible. For now, your video should look like this. The next step is to go back and select the original video. Duplicate it, then select the overlay option and after that align it with other videos. Now tap on it, then in the remove background option select auto removal and wait for the process to complete. After editing, your video should look like this. Now you can export it. Next, I will show you an easy way to make a 3D phone animation. To create it, you will need to record a video like this and a screen recording like this. The first step is to import the videos into CapCut. Select the second video and then tap on the overlay option. Now align it with the first video. Tap on it, then position it according to your preference. After that remove the part you don't need. Select it, then tap the animations button. Now in the combo tab find the smartphone animation. Save and after editing your video should look like this. Now I'm going to show you how to create a cool laptop transition like this one. This may be an interesting idea for your next short video. You need to record the scene of the laptop as you close it. Before recording, lock focus to make your video look better. The next step is to open CapCut and import the background video. This is how my background video looks. Now we will select aspect ratio. Choose the same format as the format of the laptop video you recorded and then position the video according to your preference. Now go back and add the laptop video as an overlay. At the point in the video where the screen is highest, position the video so that the laptop covers the entire scene. Now go to the mask tab and select the horizontal mask. Click on invert and then position it on the top of the video player, then add a keyframe. The next step is to move the mask to track the top of the screen as the laptop descends in each frame. If necessary, you can easily rotate the mask. Repeat this process until the laptop is closed in the video. 
The more precise that you position the mask in each frame, the better the transition will look. Now move the mask to the bottom of the video player. After editing, your transition should look like this. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create a cinematic 5-layer video. Tap on New Project and then select 5 videos. Now, click the Collage button and after that select this format. Tap on Ratio tab and select 9 by 16 format. The cool thing is that you can easily reposition the videos. When you are done, click the Continue button. Click here, then choose shorter videos to extend their duration by slowing them down. Click on the speed option and slow down your video, after that select better quality. Save and wait for the process to complete. Now align the videos and remove the parts you don't need. After editing my video looks like this. In the next part of the video, you will learn how to create a cool cutout transition like this one. First, open CapCut and import the video for the first scene. Before editing, my video looks like this. At the point where you want the transition to start, add a second video as an overlay. Enlarge it to fit the background video. Now select the freeze option to freeze the first frame of the video. Split it into two parts then position the videos on the timeline like I did. Select the top overlay video and remove its background. Tap on Cutout, then select Remove Background option and wait for the process to complete. After that, go back and select In Animation. I suggest using one of the shake animations. Adjust the duration to your liking and then save. After that, select the video below and add a fade in animation. Adjust it and then save. After editing, your transition should look like this. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.